Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this video it's going to be the 21st installment of the Inktober challenge which I'm doing with my left hand as I had an injury to my right hand on the 30th of September. It's now healed but I'm still going to continue until the 30th of October. That's going to be the last installment of my left-handed only drawing and on the 31st I'm going to draw with both hands simultaneously which I haven't practiced and I won't practice until that day which will be the first drawing that I do attempting to be somewhat ambidextrous. So in this video I am going to be doodling again in my little black sketchbook. The idea is I'd like to have every installment of the Inktober challenge in this book so that then at the end I can rifle through each of the uh, installments and um, discuss my favourites and least favourites. But uh, yeah, until then, let's get started. Okay, so this being installment number 21 my focus is on a kind of automatic drawing I know you may not be so familiar with that term but it's like automatic writing and if you're not familiar with that it's it's something which uh, Darren Brown mentions it in some of his shows where he will get someone to focus on something else whilst their hand um, subconsciously writes something and the conscious mind is distracted with um, something which Darren is is showing them or getting them to do whilst their um, whilst their hand is just writing on paper and they're not consciously paying attention to it. And this automatic drawing is not quite so disassociative as that action, but it is certainly something where I gave no um, great thought or consideration to what I was doing. I was just trying to enjoy the marks and just letting the pen move around the page very similar to how I did the hatching and on this occasion I was just thinking I'm just going to see what happens with the shapes and there's no plan no preparation and no um, reference at all but this is where I start becoming quite interested in what happens with these types of drawings because they always turn out quite curious and um and something where I don't think if I would have planned to have drawn anything like at this stage, this looks like a flower to me. Now, if I would have planned to have drawn a flower, it wouldn't have turned out like this. It could also be a jellyfish. And if I would have planned to have drawn a jellyfish, it wouldn't have turned out like this. And um, there are lots of different things which can be learnt from automatic drawing. And I really do appreciate this type of process if you can do it it's basically getting your mind into the state where you let the pen move on the paper and instead of analyzing what the shape is you just try to draw another line that relates to that first line and what i mean by relates to the line is that where you are um, just impulsively inclined to make it the second mark after the first and from there it's just following on uh, again and again. Now at this point I do start to make shapes which I think are slightly more conscious of what's happening because these start to, I mean don't get me wrong, there's nothing which I think this is looking definitely like this because it, it kind of isn't. It's still kind of almost jellyfish-like or something which could be a flower. I'm not sure which one of the two it's most similar to or if it resembles something else, but I was certainly aware of uh, what was happening at this point. Whereas initially on the drawing, I was really just going along for the ride and seeing what happened, and I had no conscious knowledge of the direction of the drawing at all. It was just seeing what occurred when I was... Um, when I was in the in the process of, of making it and I like some of the shapes that happen but it's also trying to loosen up my hand a little bit and I think you can tell from this drawing that my left hand is definitely loosening up quite a bit to the point where it's quite comfortable to draw with my left hand now and for the next few drawings I'm going to continue to try to push things which are 
something which I'd like to draw with my right hand because I think I am starting to um, get closer and closer to the point where both hands are almost equal. I don't think I'll ever be quite as um, comfortable with my left hand as I am with my right because of how long I have been uh, working with my right hand on artwork, which is uh, about, it's coming towards 10 years because I haven't been drawing all my life. I took a long period out from drawing and um, but it's still something where I've learned how to do a little flick of the wrist to get certain hatching to be quite rhythmic and I don't know if I'll be able to do that with my left hand. I can try but um, at this point I think it's just trying to get the mark making to a stage where I think it's going to be stronger. Now at this point I've got the 1.0 nib and I'm doing some heavier lines to try to heighten certain aspects of the drawing and also to try to make sure that there is um, enough depth to the drawing in line work that it doesn't need more shadow. So that's what uh, I'm doing at the moment just to try and finish it off and I feel as though certain parts of this are really given a little bit more um, uh, kind of depth and uh, accentuation just by the heavier lines I think that this is much more of a um, of a, a benefit to the drawing than if I hadn't have included these just little shadow uh, edges as well to go in between some of these lines um, I add a few with some of the thinner marks with the uh, 0 0.8 nib just to try to ensure that there is enough detail in certain other elements but then you see this part here, I'm basically trying to join up certain of the thicker lines together just to try and suggest that there is a slight shadow underneath. And at that point, I'm quite happy with the depth of the drawing. I don't want to go too much further because I think it is quite an interesting shape. And that's where I got up to. OK, that's the drawing done. Now, it's a bit of an unusual one, but I thought if I do something which is more of an abstract pattern, but it still suggests certain shapes, then I will learn textures and forms which are not based on anything in true uh, reality or life. It's nothing which I've got a reference to. And it's nothing specifically figurative, but it is something which I thought was quite interesting in nice shapes. And I tried to put a bit of line depth into there and I found it quite a, an enjoyable and pleasant illustration. I quite like it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, share this with any friends or family who you think might enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.